So in here, we can run the consumer so that it's ready to consume any new messages. And finally, let's run our producer so that we can create the messages. And if we go to our consumer, we can see that it has printed the commands. So this is Let's create now a main class here that is going to be the entry point for our application. So it's going, let's call it voice command parser app. And this main class is going to have a main method. And this method is going to be using the voice command parser topology new voice command parser topology and we have to send a speech to text service we are also going to send a translate service and a threshold which could be 0.90 let's say for now Now, we don't have implementations for this. We could implement the clients for Google Cloud Platform's speech-to-text service and translate service. But that would take a lot of time. And I think it's what we have done now, it's more than enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two mock implementations of, it, of this. Uh, but... I would say that the current code is very well prepared for actually going into Google Cloud services. So I'm going to copy two classes that I have here and put them in our services package where I have mock speech to text client and mock translate client. And I'm going to fix all these imports. So this would be a speech to text service let's fix all the imports this is text and the same with the translate service we're going to say implement translate service let's fix all the imports this is text and that is all we have to do now we can use them in our parser app we can say it's new mock std client and new mock translate client the other thing we have to do is we have to create a new kafka streams and we have to send the topology so create topology and we'll have to send the properties. So we will have to create these properties. And for these, we're going to create a class. So let's just say, let's just create a new class that it will be called streams configuration. And this class, we can create it in the config package. And the class will have a method called create config. And we are going to be using an existing configuration that I already have, which is this. Going back, we have everything we need here. So we have to only say Kafka streams start. And finally, the other thing that we need to do is we have to add the shutdown hook so that when we close our application, it closes gracefully.
I'm also going to copy data that I have generated using audio into our resources uh, folder. And you can see all this code that I just created in the GitHub repository. So don't worry if I'm going fast now. Um, but what I wanted to do is I didn't want to waste time generating audio files. So I did it before and we have it all here. We have the audio here in the base64 format. And if we look at the mock STT client, we have the IDs for these audios. And the first audio will be parsed into Call John. Second audio will be parsed into Shamara Juan. And the last one is going to be something very poorly uh, parsed. So we have all three cases here. And uh, what we are going to do is we're going to also be copying a class that I have created for sending this data into Kafka, which we can find as well in the GitHub repository. This is a class it's called voice producer. We have to fix some of the imports and that's it we are ready to go and the same thing i'm going to do with a consumer that i created let's put it in here so we have a consumer we'll have to fix the imports and add all the imports that we're missing parser topology there's something still wrong this is on Recognize commands topic. No, it's all fine. And uh, now, and now, I think the only thing we're missing is we have to define our Docker Compose file. So I'm going to also copy and paste the Docker Compose file and a scripts folder. And what we can see in our Docker Compose file, we have everything to keep, to run Kafka in our local. And we have a script here to create all the topics that we will need. So voice commands and recognize commands and recognize commands. So now that we have everything in place, let's run our application. Let's start by running our Docker Compose. So in our terminal, let's write Docker compose up we'll have to wait for a while until all the containers are created and started now it has finished starting so what we're going to do is let's run our kafka streams application once we run the application we can run our consumer so in here, we can run the consumer so that it's ready to consume any new messages. And finally, let's run our producer so that we can create the messages. So our producer has run. And if we go to our consumer, we can see that it has printed the commands. So to say, we said that the first command would, was going to be called John. The second one was going to be the Spanish one, which has been translated to Col Juan. And the final one, it was going to be in the unrecognized topics because the probability was going to be very low. So this is great. Everything is running as expected and with a real Kafka instance. We've come to the end of our stateless operations tutorial in Kafka Streams. If you follow all the videos, then you've learned how to use stateless operations to transform the data and how we can test our topology using the topology test driver and a TDD approach. In our next videos, we're going to learn everything about stateful operations, how we can use them, how Kafka Streams manages the storage of the state, and also how we can build microservices using REST APIs Kafka and Kafka Streams. If you like the content, leave a message. It would be really helpful for me 
to hear from you and get some feedback. Also, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll be waiting for all of you in the next video.